Hey everyone, welcome. Well, we got our test rig set up here. We got our wall meter right there. This SSD has Windows 10 in it. This one over here has HiveOS, that way you can just swap between the two to do tests on multiple platforms. And we got a riser, splitters all ready to roll, riser, power supply, and yeah, everything's here. We just gotta put on a card and do tests on it. So, I was gonna do some testing on this RX 580 4GB card. Just look at the power consumptions, the profitability on it on Ethereum currently with the DAG. But there's supposed to be a DAG file tomorrow and ultimately my decision, I'll do this tomorrow because the gas fees just spiked. They went nuts. So there's a slight crash pullback going on right now and the Ethereum gas fees just went through the roof, like up to nine blocks at some point. So yeah, I'm gonna wait on that and we're gonna look into the EIP 1559. And a lot of you, if you don't know what that means, well, eventually if that goes through, then a lot of our profits are gonna tank. So I'll just take a look at that and show you exactly what's going on with the EIP 1559. All right guys, so if you're not sure what EIP 1559 is, here's just a quick rundown about it. So the controversial EIP, the improvement proposal is controversial and is being rejected by some miners. Now I don't think there's just some, it's probably, they should have all miners right here. Anyway, <laughs> understandably so. In the current setting, miners are in control, processing immense power. However, the activation of the EIP will tip the scale back to the users, benefiting ETH holders and making it predictable, cheaper, and transact in Ethereum. EIEP 1559 introduces a base fee and a small tip for miners. Now, I'm not sure what the small tip is going to be. I haven't really seen too much on it yet, but we'll keep an eye out for that. Now, the base fee will be destroyed, so that's pretty much your straight-out gas fee. They're just going to burn it, gone, not going anywhere. It's getting thrown in the garbage. So a reason why Eric says a lot of ETH will be burnt in turn, this will lead to negative to zero issuance without compromising the security of the base layer. Ordinarily, this base fee would be channeled to miners as revenue. By destroying them, what just happened? Whoa, glitching out here. Okay, so by destroying them, some analysis say will help support ETH prices. So essentially they're saying because miners aren't getting this gas fee, they won't be selling ETH and all this, and it should make prices more stable and eventually you maybe go up. Specifically, EIP 1559 makes it easy for users to predict gas fees. Now, I don't know if that'll actually work or not, but in Central, all the gas fees, like the block reward right now is two Ethereum per block. That's what we're mining for. And then our bonus is all the gas fees. And with the booms and everyone using the network, those gas fees go up and up. And like we've seen seven to nine to 12 F blocks. And we're getting paid for all that. That's why our, our profits are so high. So now they're looking to get rid of that and we'll only be at a two block fee. So let's look at our profitability. If they this implemented two day what our profits will look like. So here we are in whattomine.com where you can check the profitability of coins. So it looks like they added the 3060s, 3070s, and 3080s into this now. Uh, 3080 I think was here for a while, but so I have three 3060s, so I'm just gonna use those as a base. I have other cards, but I'm just gonna use these as a base number. So it's, what's it given for us here? 3080, so 174. So I'm actually gonna look at 62 for an average times three. So we're actually pulling 186, so 186. So we're going to calculate that and see what we're making right now based on 10 cents kilowatt hour. So we're making $12.62. Next up we got 7.7 .7 and everything, but now that's with our gas fees like we said. I'll look at like our gas fees sitting at 5, it went up. So we're going to look at our profitability. If this implements today, this is what we'd be making. So at 2. So we're making eight dollars and twenty cents now. Eight twenty. We're gonna go back now. We're gonna take that eight twenty and look at the board here. Eight twenty. Remember, it's eight twenty now, not twelve sixty two. So that's slightly putting us above the other coins. So it is still gonna be more profitable, but a lot less profitable. <laughs> and ultimately, what do we see? We saw some gas fees of actually ten today. Let's have a look at ten. Oh, where's our block rewards and naval? Actually, not 10. I think I saw one at 9. Both of them are 7s. See, look at that. $39 on these cards. Now, that's only for the one block. Uh, say, 7. 
7 was the average 30. So initially, if you found a block with just these cards, that's how much you'd get. But like I said, when this implements, we're only going to get the 2 block reward plus the small fee. I don't know what that small fee is going to be. So initially, let's just look at the block reward. So we're looking at that. And like we said, $8 pretty much. So that is going to put a huge chunk out of profits. I'm not sure when it's actually, what is going on? I can't get back now. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, $8 and yeah, so we're 30 cents, 20, 24 cents above eternity here. We are 31 cents above octopus. Now, if you're not sure, oh, wow, is that right? That's saying 200, oh yeah, 270 giga hash. Okay, yeah, never mind. For some reason, I was thinking Terry hash. But if you're unsure about Octopus, they actually recently dropped their block rewards from seven down to two. And they said they weren't going to do any type, they're supposed to half in four years. And halving means you cut it in half, not cut it 80, 75% or whatever they did. So this was actually at like 1.4 terahash, and it was more profitable than Ethereum. They did that. And this actually dropped her down to like 29 cents profitability. So they lost a ton of hash rate. As you can see now, they're only at 270 giga hash. So that's what brought it up. And that's what comes into play across other things. Uh, more hash rate and that comes into the coin, the higher your difficulty goes, which drops your profitability huge amounts. So there's a lot of things that's going to come into play here pretty on, uh, pretty soon in the future. We don't know what's going on yet. So if you're out there just buying a rig and you're not doing any research just because you think it's profitable right now, you may not make your money back. Right now, it is, we're still doing okay. But once this stuff implements, once F2.0 comes in, we're going to see dramatic changes in the crypto mining community. Hopefully some new coin does come out that's on par with F. It'll take a lot of building, a lot of strength behind it, but we never know. We can always be hopeful. But yeah, this ECIP, uh, 1559 is going to make some changes here if it implements with a two block reward. That's just, that's just crazy. Seriously. Two. I can't believe that. Eight. Look, we're going down now. So, <laughs> oh yeah, Eth is crashing a bit. So essentially, what do we have the price here? Can we change the price of Ethereum at the moment? Uh, exchange rate to BTC. I guess we could do it that way. I'm not sure. But. Anyway, yeah, uh, keep an eye out for things. Always do your own research. We could be losing a lot of profits on Ethereum here soon. So just a heads up for people that are unaware of this. Now you're aware. So we could be losing a lot of profits, guys. So keep your heads up and we'll check what's going on. Thanks for watching and wrap it out.